Hello, Express families. Fall is nearing and we are very close to reopening our Elmira City School District. We are ready. While the track back to school isn't going to be easy, we are Express Strong. To help us all adapt to changes, let's walk step by step through a day at school together. We understand this year will be challenging and likely frustrating for many. Keeping open communication between schools and families is imperative. We are all in this together. Kids are often our most resilient group and teach us many things about flexibility. In order to reopen strongly, our entire school community will have to pull up our bootstraps and adjust to the changes in this unprecedented time. The first day of school for Elmira City School District students will be Thursday, September 10th. Cohort A will attend in person on Thursday. Virtual students will log in for the first time and Cohort B will log in virtually on Thursday. Cohort B will attend in person Friday, September 11th. On Monday, September 14th, a regular hybrid schedule will resume. Accountability to a healthy school begins at home. Daily, we ask that parents monitor their children for signs of illness before sending them to school. Students and staff will go through a health checkpoint station before entering the school building every morning where temperatures will be checked. Parents who are dropping off, please stay with your child until the health screen is complete. Students with a positive screen will either go home with the parent or guardian or will rest in a private room until someone can pick them up from school. We ask parents to walk their children to the bus stop each morning and stick with them until the bus arrives and their health screen is complete. Our Elmira staff will check the temperature of each child before boarding the bus. Parents should stay with their child at the bus stop until the health screen is complete to ensure students who may be symptomatic can return home safely with their parent or guardian. Students who experience a positive screen showing any sign or symptom of COVID-19 will be able to return to school only after they have a doctor's note, a negative COVID-19 test, and are symptom-free for 24 hours, or they ensure a 14-day quarantine, as directed by the Chemung County Health Department. Frequent hand washing is critical to a healthy school day, and our teachers, nurses, students, and staff have developed new routines for our school communities. Masks will be required when social distancing isn't possible in school. Our staff has thought carefully about scheduling mask breaks for our students. Proper PPE is available at school in the case a student forgets their mask at home. Our classrooms are arranged with social distancing in mind. Students seated six feet apart will be able to remove masks when possible during instruction. Our staff has planned a safe, socially distanced environment for students during mealtime. Lunch at elementary and middle schools will be in the cafeterias and Elmira High School students will eat in their classrooms through a carefully curated schedule of meal delivery. Our school campuses provide much needed outdoor green space and our teachers will use the outdoors creatively as an extension of the classroom for gym class, recess, and fresh air. In Elmira, we have assigned teachers across the district to be virtual teachers for our online students. All virtual students will get virtual login information and a welcome letter from their virtual teachers soon. Classroom teachers will also provide their students information on how to log in for when they are learning at home. Information on district loan devices will be sent the week of September 7th. We are replacing drinking fountains with water bottle filling stations throughout our schools and we encourage our students to bring a refillable water bottle daily. Cleaning and disinfecting throughout the school day and off school hours is vitally important to our safety plan. Frequently touched surfaces will be disinfected throughout the day and tracked through our daily cleaning protocol log. Due to safety precautions related to COVID-19, 
we will be restricting visitor access to school buildings throughout the school year. Volunteers and vendors who normally visit a school should please call your school's contact before arrival. We look forward to the sounds of giggles, squeaky rubber boots against the school floor, the sounds of buses, and the smells of fall as the fresh air once again sweeps through our halls and windows. And we know that together, family, school, and community, we will succeed. Let's go express.